Hello everyone, this is R.S. Miller at the EndTimeNews.org and today is December 13th, 2013. This is your Fast Track Report. Chinese and U.S. warships met toe-to-toe -to -toe in a tense military standoff recently. Chinese naval vessels tried to force a U.S. guided missile cruiser to stop in international waters recently resulting in a tense military standoff in the latest case of Chinese maritime harassment, according to defense officials. The guided missile cruiser USS Kalpens, which recently took part in disaster relief operations in the Philippines, was confronted by Chinese warships in the South China Sea near Beijing's new aircraft carrier Leoning, according to officials familiar with the incident. The USS Kalpens entered the South China Sea area near China's new aircraft carrier last week during a routine operation and was confronted by the Chinese warships. The standoff began when a Chinese warship warned the Kalpens to halt its course, an order the Kalpens ignored because it was operating at the time in international waters. A Chinese tank landing ship then positioned itself directly in front of the Kalpens forcing the U.S. warship to take evasive and dangerous maneuvers. Rick Fisher, a senior fellow at the International Assessment and Strategy Center, said, The ongoing tension between China and the U.S. stems from one thing. China will not accept a U.S. presence in its geographical realm of influence. China has spent the last 20 years building up its navy, and now feels that it can use it to obtain its political objectives. He goes on to say, China has grown increasingly bold and belligerent in both the South China and East China Seas. In this early stage of using its newly acquired naval power, China is posturing and bullying, but China is also looking for a fight. A battle that will cow the Americans, the Japanese, and the Filipinos, he said, adding that it would probably serve the U.S. and Japan well to build up their military presence in the Philippines. Friends, we are living in the last days. Virtually everywhere one looks, there are wars and rumors of wars, ethnic violence and civil disobedience. These are just some of the signs that let us know that Jesus Christ is returning soon. In Luke chapter 21, starting with verse 8, And he, Jesus, said, Take heed that you do not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has drawn near. Therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be great earthquakes in various places, and famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. Going down to chapter verse 25, he says, And there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. Is your redemption drawing near? Are you saved? Follow the link in the box below and pray the prayer of salvation with a sincere heart and you will be saved. May God bless you.